Today we're going to tell you what the best beaches are in Sarasota County. And we're getting started right now. Keep in mind there are many different beaches within the county and they all have their own style, look and feel. So it really depends what you're looking for. First one is Siesta Key. <laughs> and this is in no particular order, but yes. this is probably her favorite. This is my favorite, but yeah, this video is in no particular order. I love Siesta Key Beach because of the sand. It's almost like powdered sugar. The only thing that I don't like about the sand is like if it's windy, then you get sand everywhere. It's just blowing everywhere. So easily it blows, yeah. yeah. So it can get annoying, but I do love the beach. I love the color, the pristine color. There are not as many shells either, so it's no. really comfortable to walk on the sand. And the sand, since it's 90, I think it's 99% quartz, it's very cool to the touch, even on a really hot day, which we can't say about all the beaches on this list. And just to give a little context to that sand blowing all over, it doesn't happen very often. No. More often than not, when you're there, that's not gonna be the case. Other thing to consider is, obviously it's the most popular one, so it is a little bit more touristy, it's bigger overcrowded well, sometimes. sometimes it can get crowded i mean the, there's a huge huge free parking lot by the way all the beaches in sarasota county do have free parking so that's something you don't have to worry about and across the board they all have in common but even that big huge free parking lot will get filled on the beach there is enough more than enough space just because from like here to the water it's huge yeah. and it's huge long wise too but even then like if you want to be like really close to the water that, along that strip that's going to get packed pretty quick our next best beach in sarasota county i'm gonna throw a wild card here which one do you think i'm gonna give minnesota Ooh, no <laughs> casperson okay it's kind of it so here's the thing about casperson it's become a little bit of a tourist thing i feel like almost even though it was like the best kept secret for the locals type beach. Now words kind of got out and, and it's, yeah, it's sort of a popular beach. Lots of parking, pretty big parking area. Even then that will get packed. Yes. And the reason it's so popular is because in Venice, we're known as the shark's tooth capital of the world. If there's a beach that's probably best for finding that, Casperson's definitely the one that's got the fame for it and it's in the running for it, I'd say. There's tons of shells. There's a, literally a spot. Yeah. yeah, there's a mound of them. Yes. And Casperson is, it's very unique as well because there is big rocks on, like on the shore and it gives it more of a natural feel as well as when you're driving in to go to the beach, it's almost like you're in the jungle. Yeah, it's like jungle and <laughs> sand dunes. and Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool beach. And there's a little bit of a boardwalk along it too, so that's kind of nice too if you don't want to actually yeah. go into the sand. The third one is Venice Beach, our main Venice Beach. And the reason why I love Venice Beach, and, and I think most people would agree to this, is you have the downtown, and then you have um, Heritage Park, which is a, a park in the median of Venice Avenue, and then you have the beach. So from the downtown to the beach, it's about a mile walk that you could walk or you know drive if you wanted to but just the building up to get to the beach it's pretty cool just because you have you know everything else the, the downtown the park and then the beach and sometimes there is live music there in under the pavilion under the pavilion and they do have a drum circle as well every Wednesday night I think it's Wednesday in the evenings yes. we haven't been to it in a while it's been a while yeah but yeah and the other thing I think that's nice about Venice is kind of like Siesta Key there's a little bit more space on the sand it's a little bit bigger again Again, the parking lot there is free. All these uh, beaches also have bathrooms, water fountains, and there is like a little concession stand slash food and like shower stations as well. Yeah, shower stations and all of them. And um, but there's also food and you know floaties and all kinds of stuff that you can use at the beach. A little shop kind of right by Venice Beach too, so that's kind of nice. Uh, there is food too by Siesta Key. Uh, the other thing too about that park and the median, it's well shaded. There's trails. There's little swings chairs yeah. and benches that you can sit so on nice. and the minion trees which most people that come to venice have to take like if you're a tourist in venice you have to take a picture under the banyan trees yeah so venice beach is very on its own it's nice i wouldn't say it stands out that much yeah. but but when you put it together with the park and being so close to the downtown and, and put that kind of all in a package i think that's kind of what makes it yes definitely next best beach in sarasota county is lido now lido is a little bit of a quieter beach which is nice but then kind of like venice beach you kind of what you have going for that is it's really close to st armand circle which has a lot of shopping restaurants things like that nearby the sand is nice there it's it's a it's not quite on siesta key beaches level but it's a little more pristine than say like casperson beach or even like venice beach it has a little more 
I bits of seashells like and stuff in. In between, in. in yeah. between both Venice and, and Siesta Key. Each. Oh, one thing we I should mention too with Casperson that I forgot to, the sand gets really hot there in the summer. Yeah. So keep that in mind because some of the sand is almost like black. So it really just soaks in the sun and you literally feel like you're burning your feet yeah. sometimes. So it's just, just something to consider. The next best beach is Manasota Key Beach. And the reason why we think this beach is so amazing is because it's less touristy less crowded it is in between englewood and venice and it you can still find shark's teeth it's, there i think it's More underrated oh i think it's underrated yes i think it's almost as easy as casperson personally yeah and i think i actually like minnesota key better just because the the sand it's a little less rough yeah on your feet and it's not so hot either yeah yeah you can catch beautiful sunsets <laughs> yeah and it's also kind of like casperson a little more Nature feeling quiet, secluded. So if you want a little less touristy, that's a good one. Next best beach. And I really like this one because you get kind of something that you have in Venice. Plus you get something different with Nokomis. And it's also very good for uh, finding seashells and shark's teeth. And it's Nokomis Beach. But the, what I like about Nokomis Beach is that you also get the, the north jetty. So we're in Venice and we typically go to the south jetty because literally if you're at, it's weird. They're like right next to each other, but if you're here on the South Jetty, it takes like 20 minutes because you got to drive like really weird and around to get to the North Jetty. But with Nokomis Beach, you get the seashells, pretty nice sand, shark's teeth. There's a couple, you know, little restaurant type joint things there. And then, yeah, you get the jetty on top of it. I just think that package of everything is awesome. And then if you have time, you could drive around Casey Key, which is just like this is basically Casey Keys Beach. So you could drive to see the mansions and really, really nice homes. Yeah. And also that area, it just stands out as it's so crazy how it's so close to Venice Beach and the jet and then the South Jetty, but it has such a different feel, like with the boardwalk. And it just seems like a bigger area in general that kind of has a little bit more going on as far as that boardwalk and, and all that kind of stuff. So it kind of brings it together, I think, a nice feel of all the different beaches we've been talking about in, in one little package. Yes, definitely. The next beach is Blind Pass Beach. And this beach is the most secluded. It is in between Englewood Beach and Minnesota Key Beach. And it is, I, I would say, smaller. Like the, the beach area is smaller, but they do have a big parking lot. And you can launch your kayaks and canoes, boats. So if, if you want to do some sort of like a water sport, this is the, the beach to go to. So Inglewood Beach, just to give some context, is sitting at the south end of the key. Minnesota is at the north end of the key. And Inglewood Beach is in Charlotte County. So that's why it's not on the Sarasota County list. But yeah, it's being in the middle, there's really no, like you have to go to a bridge on one end of the key or the other and then drive all the way to the middle. So it kind of keeps a, a lot of the people away from it because it's just it takes a little longer to get to. And not as many people know about it either. It's yeah. mainly like locals. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a really nice beach. You can find shark's teeth and seashells there. The sand is pretty nice. It's a little whiter than I'd say like Casperson Beach. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just a and really good beach. Lot, what I like about this beach too is the parking lot. It's not paved, mainly like sand, like pressed sand. That gives it more of a natural feel. As yeah. Well. And Minnesota beaches is too, I believe. And there's a lot of seashells yes. in their parking lot as well. And there are bathrooms at that one as well, even though it is uh, at Blind Pass even though it is in the middle there are bathrooms there for you as well and i think wash stations pretty sure yes so there you go our next favorite beach we're gonna bring two together because they sit right side to side very different things that you're looking to do but the beach the, itself as far as the sand and the water is gonna be very similar because they're next to each other and it's sharkies which Technically, that's not the name of the beach. I think it's, I believe it's technically Brohard, but everyone just calls it Sharkies. And then South Brohard Beach, which is the dog beach. So the dog beach, you can bring your dog there, have it off leash, which is kind of cool. And then with Sharkies, you have the fishing pier where you can fish without a license for free. You've got Sharkies Tiki Bar and Restaurant, Finn's Restaurant there, and you can get tropical drinks. And that's kind of what makes that beach. Outside of that, it doesn't stand out that much from the others. You can find mm -hmm. seashells, shark's teeth, the sand similar to Venice Beach, kind of white-ish not too hot. In a sunny day too, the, the water is so clear that you yeah. can basically see like all the way to the bottom. So that's kind of cool. And you can see like the little fish just swimming around. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. If you're looking to move to the area, make sure to call, text or email us. I am a local realtor here, 941-221-1897. Call or text at any time, whether you're looking to move in the next few days or the next few months, we'll always have your back. We hear from people all the time and we love it. If you want to learn more about what it's like to live in Venice, Florida, check out this video right here. If you want to see what it's like to live in Sarasota, check out this video here. Englewood down here. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe and turn on all notifications and live breezy. breezy.